Change us to another room. Let's check out the toilet. Nothing is leaking. <laughs> That's the first time that ever happened to me in a hotel. A little bit weird coming into it and I was pouring water out of the toilet. Anyways, we gotta pack our stuff down and in the morning wake up around 6 a.m. because we have a long day ahead of us. We'll be traveling from 6 until like 11 p.m. It's gonna be our arrival time in Sebu City, so we gotta get a good sleep. So we'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, it's about 6 a.m. I couldn't fall asleep last night. That's how excited I was last night to go back to the Philippines, but lack of sleep, who cares? Let's pack our stuff and try to get a bus to a bus station, then try to find out another minivan to the airport. So, figure across we're gonna be able to do that. Let's go. All right, we just checked out the hotel. Hopefully the minivan is going to come here soon so we can get to the bus station and then from there we go to the airport. By the way, we're in the town of Krap, the southern part of Thailand and I was here like three or four years ago I think and Iceland, my country was competing in soccer and I watched the game in this town and I had my flag, Icelandic flag and we actually won the game and I gave the flag to the uh, restaurant so I wanted to come back here and see if the flag was still here. And I came, but it was not there. But the owner still remembered me and um, it was a good time to see them again. Ah. Right, made it to the bus station. Thank you. Now I have to find the minivan. Phuket Airport. Phuket Airport? 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 Phuket Airport? New Airport. But well, can you stop? Near the airport, uh, so I tell the driver to stop, stop there. Ah, motorbike. Airport, about three kilometers. Ah, thank you so much, sir. Thank you. All right, guys, we made it to the bus, and this is gonna be like three and a half hour ride to a corner where we have to drop me off to get a motorbike to the airport. Like this is the uh, information that I had to give the driver. So hopefully, it's gonna stop there and drop me off. Bus is done, now we gotta get a try to go. Yep, sir, that's mine. Cup con cup. <laughs> Just drop on the side of the road. Gotta get a tricycle there. Awesome. Alright, let's do it. Whew. Now we gotta go across this street. I think this guy's gonna drive us. Swarika, how much to airport? 100 baht. 100, okay. Alright, off to the airport. Alright guys, made it to the airport. Place you got. Sorry about my hair. <laughs> my hair is a total mess. We'll get that fixed when we get back to Cebu. But we gotta go to the international gate and off to Kuala Lumpur. See guys, I'm still rocking this bag. For years or usage. It's the best bag I've ever had. Still going strong. <laughs> All right, we're checked in and here's a cool price comparison between uh, Philippines and Thailand. Uh, if you get a Burger King here, this one is 450 baht, which is 14 bucks US dollar. Or if you get that in the Philippines, it's about uh, 5.7. Well, that's how Expensive Thailand has got it, it's crazy. Alright, made it to KL, been here countless of time. Two, three hour later, and they're off to Cebu. Bye bye, bye, -bye. good night, take care. Alright, guys, made it to Cebu. Yes! It's good to be back. Let's get our luggage. 
And that has to be the friendliest immigration moment I've ever had in my life. Like the security, like talking to me, making small talks. Even though they don't, didn't know me, they're just talking to me and being friendly and then asking me questions. Feels good to be back in the Philippines. Holy moly, I missed it. Already smiling. You, yeah. you wanna How do black now? Yeah, yeah, we're black now. We're black now. Yeah, we're black now. <laughs> this is a good one, I think. Uh, I'll take this one. I'm gonna give you one. What is that? This is free. Free? Okay. Yes. Awesome. Yes, You're in the black now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm we're, sorry, Kuya. We're in the black I'm now. Sorry. We're in the I'm black. sorry, Kuya. Right. We have to pick a puzzle lookbook because I forgot it in Thailand. But uh, hopefully my uh, uh, here this one will do. My compound mates will like that one. Yes. We can't for, forget our puzzle lookbook. Ayun Gabi. We go to Talamba Road. Talamba? Yeah, I call it Traffic Road. Wow, I like the new airport. It's so nice. Hey, Kat. Hey, Kat. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> I'm okay. Good to be back. Oh, is Anna? Tomorrow I came back. Oh, sure. Thanks. Still here, I hope she wasn't jealous having me away. Did you see your family? Yes. How many days did you go? Seven days. Oh, whole week? We got some puzzle lubong. I was gonna get something from Thailand, but I forgot to buy. Just got some kisses, Percy kisses. Oh, so nice and clean. Thank Whoa. you, man. Okay, and then we'll give something to uh, Christine and the other guys here tomorrow. I'm gonna go to sleep, shower. It's been a long journey. It's about 11.30 and we started at like 6 a.m. this morning. Good morning! I fell asleep really quickly last night after about 12 hour journey. Woke up 6 a.m., arrived 11 p.m. It can be a bit exhausting traveling for such a long time. We got a lot of things to do today. Laundry, buy SIM card data, loads of emails, get rid of this. By the way, my brother gave me this shirt. This is his basketball one. He's becoming a professional basketball player in Iceland. Really cool. So he gave me his shirt for Christmas. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, haircut is done. Mm, still a Zoolander pose. Good, good, good. Check out the hair. Jesus. I think there's like three months of hair. All right, let's go out, check out, see if we can find some of our compound members, Christine or someone. It is a beautiful day in Cebu City. Blue, clear skies. Ah, I miss flip flops. And then later on, Let's have a sit down and talk about Philippines ruined my vacation in Thailand. But first, let's go do run some errands. By the way, I'm rocking my little brother's t-shirt. This is our team, Stjartna from Iceland. And I used to play for that team all my childhood. Now my younger brother is doing great. He's actually being picked up for the under 21 national team. So uh, he's killing it back home. Proud of you, bro. <laughs> Kristin! Christine, yes. you want some puzzle lubong? Hi, how are you, Frank? I'm good, how are you? I'm, I'm good. Too. I bring puzzle lubong. Wow, thank you for puzzle lubong, Frank. Thank <laughs> you so much. I was going to bring something Thai, but I totally forgot to buy. So I just got this in the uh, yeah, okay. airport. Thank you so much, Frank. Yeah, just give it to everybody. Yeah, thank you, Frank. Take care. Thank you. All right, let's go to Ayala Mall. Alright, good to be back on traffic Talamba Road. Traffic Road as I call it. <laughs> ah, I miss the smell, the pollution. Alright, yay! Made it to Ayala, my favorite spot in Cebu City. <laughs> we gotta change some of my Thai money, still got leftovers from that trip. This one. One thing that I absolutely love about the Philippines is the weather here and the difference between here and in Thailand it's very humid in Thailand like it felt like always 
wet your when you're holding your phone your fingers are wet and the phone also but here it's just dry super hot I love my slippers they're so slippery all right just got a thousand peso load and I can also tell that the internet is way better in the Philippines now than two years ago I swear like in uh, El Nido it was hardly impossible to do anything there but now they even have like a little bit internet in the islands with the remote ones but in El Nido town and even in Coron it's actually quite fast and you can upload videos there now so awesome improvements okay what's your name? Elmer Elmer and and they're on a holiday right here yeah. in the Philippines. Yes. You're from the States. Right? I'm from the States, yes. And you're Cebuana. Yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> Always nice to see you guys and don't be afraid to say hi. Even if I'm eating, it's perfectly fine. If I'm running, driving, it's all good. Perfect weather today. Blazing hot, cold blue skies. But now we're gonna go to my favorite viewpoint in the whole city. get receipt for everything in the Philippines and sometimes your pockets are just filled with receipts anyway let's go to the top Wapo Amico what does that mean? Tizoy Tizoy I heard Tizoy before <laughs> so funny all right 100 pesos address fee to my favorite spot in Cebu Freaking love this spot, guys. I miss this Cebu. This view is just stunning. What an amazing day, guys. Looking over the beautiful Cebu city. I want to talk to you guys a little bit. Um, the Thailand trip really taught me a lot. Um, I started off going to Bangkok and spent a few days there and then I traveled south to Hua Hin where I met my grandma and cousins. Uh, the reason I wanted to spend Christmas with them is that my grandma she's going through some tough times. She has a big surgery coming up so I really want to spend some time with her and uh, I wish her well for the uh, upcoming battle. I know she's gonna do great and then after that I, I, I kind of wanted to test myself and see how I'm gonna react by traveling again once again with uh, just like I did before before I started vlogging I, I traveled all over the place and I never filmed anything so I wanted to give that a try again and, and see how I'm gonna react to that is it gonna be any different from vlogging and it, it was quite different so I did a pure backpacking route going all the way from uh, Hua Hin down to Chom Pron to Koh Tao yeah, I think it was close to 1,500 km circle from Koh Tao to Samui, Suratani, Phuket, Koh Phi Phi, Krapi and back and then back to Philippines. But what it really taught me was that I love vlogging. I love taking photos. I love, you know, interacting with people and it kind of felt like not even challenging. It, I don't want to say boring, <laughs> but it was so strange to not vlog. It was kind of dull, to be honest. And vlogging really challenges you to create, and that is something I've been doing all my life: creating stuff. I'm a, I have an artistic background, even though I'm even though I have a degree in programming and technology, but I've always been artistic. And uh, the challenge of creating videos and editing is, you know, it, it really thrives me. But Thailand was a little bit disappointing, you know, going on the tours because it's becoming so commercialized the guides were not friendly they were just rush in rush out for example in Koh Phi Phi Island we only had like 20 minutes on the island like what is that you can't enjoy the island in 20 minutes in the Philippines everything is relaxed chilled you when you go island hopping you spend the whole day taking picture relaxing swimming whatever a whole different experience uh, island hopping And I'm not saying the people are not friendly in Thailand, it's just the people working in the tourist industry. It's really overwhelming how um, 
aggressive they are to just finish the tour, go, 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 instead of enjoying it. It also made me realize I, I miss the traffic in the Philippines. I miss the pollution, I miss the loud noise, the very open and friendly people of the uh, Philippines. Even if they don't know me, you know, people are shouting at you, you know, uh, making conversation. It's such a different vibes than other places in the world. And being in Thailand, not getting that interaction with people, I, I don't want to go as low as saying depressed, but I felt kind of numb and blue. And I wish I cut my trip way shorter than I think it was three weeks in Thailand. It was way too long. Some people say you get this Filipino homesick syndrome and that thing is real guys. I, I truly have it and if I leave the Philippines I get homesick right away. But I think honestly I've just been spoiled with way too friendly people, spoiled with all the paradise islands that you know you're always comparing to the Philippines now wherever I go and there's just no comparison anymore. In the end, what this trip really taught me, I absolutely love walking. This is my passion. I really found out, you know, this is what I really want to do for the next coming years. Continue exploring and creating. It super motivates me to just go out there and enjoy my life and create some, you know, positive and meaningful footage and content. And I hope you guys appreciate that. Now, I've been asked a lot lately if I'm going to the Sinulog and it's hard to tell because uh, obviously we're going with Oli to Bacolot the Necros in 16th January and I'll be coming back home here to Cebu on the 19th so I think the Sinulog is on the 19th 20 so uh, I might be able to catch a little bit of that but at least on the 20 Pizza Nur we also got some huge trips coming up. I can't reveal them yet. The only one I can reveal right now is the Fighter Boys trip. We've been talking and we're gonna do it I think in late March. So uh, super excited for that. Let's see how that goes. I think we really want to go to a spot where it's not you know touristy. We want, we want to immerse into the local life and you know help those people out and maybe promote their area in some way or another. And guarantee this is gonna be my first sunburn of 2019. Let's go, son. <laughs> and I driven here before. Took a different route down the uh, Cebu top. I love this area. This is where you go to Butlan Falls. Hey, check this out, guys. We got the Jollibee guy as the security. It's the security for the Jollibee. <laughs> A little bit of shopping after a phenomenal day here, the first one of 2019 in the Philippines. What a day! We've got some amazing things coming up. So um, I, I can't reveal everything right now, but I can reveal, like I said, I think before about the Fighter Boys, that's gonna come up in March. And my top 10 video is gonna be delayed a little bit, maybe, uh, maybe after this one or, or the next. I'm not quite sure because I wanna work a little bit extra on that one. So, uh, Stay tuned for that. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.